And welcome back. I'm joined now by Kim Susky, who's the director of Lacy Tours. And um, Kim doesn't necessarily like being on television, so we're going to try and go a little easy on the questions. But, Thank you. But first and foremost, what is your position in working with Lacy Tours? I am the director of Lacy Israel Tours, okay. and I organize, um, plan, and facilitate each tour. Okay, so what goes into that? How, how do you how do it's, you do that? It's a lot. You know, we deal with the airlines, we deal with the land operator in Israel. Uh, we we have the the paperwork mm -hmm. that needs to go out to each individual, and then processing the paperwork mm -hmm. and speaking with people on the phone and uh, from A to B. Mm -hmm. And then I'm very blessed to be able mm -hmm. to travel on the tours mm -hmm. and to make sure that everything runs smoothly while we're there. If anyone has questions, I'm here to, to help them. You know, one of the things that people really probably can't really understand that much, especially if you do any kind of traveling, Israel's really one of the easiest places to travel to. It really is. You just need a passport. You don't need shots. Everything's modern. You can drink the water. The hotels are modern, comfortable. Food is wonderful. Mm -hmm. So, Kim, it says a lot to me that you've, you've taken, I mean, 11 years you've been traveling to Israel with uh, Lacy Tours every trip to the Holy Land. So that's at least three times a year. You do the math, three times, um, mm. 11 years. And then you turn around and you go with your family. Yeah. So we, what made you do that? Well, you know, I, I brought my kids when they were 16. I felt that it was important that at, as a teenager for them to see the land of the Bible, mm -hmm. um, it made a great impact on them. Mm -hmm. My husband, Mike, has not had a chance to come because he started a new business and it's been really hard for him to get away. Um, so it's been on my heart to plan a trip where my entire family could come and we could share this together. Um, but we just haven't been able to work out the schedule. So we have two kids in college uh, and my son and his wife. My son Travis and his wife Sarah, they're plan starting to plan a family. So we knew that time was coming where things were changing the dynamics of our family. So I said, look, we need to plan this. We found two weeks in August that was perfect for everyone. And we just began planning the trip of a lifetime, the Susky family adventure. All right. Um, you did a lot of selfies. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> now, what, what was the purpose in, in so many photos like this? Well, I'll tell you, it, it just really started off with, obviously, a lot of people before we left, mm -hmm. they said, what are you doing? Are you crazy? Um, you know, a lot of people were concerned. I was concerned mm -hmm. even before we left. Um, I wanted to show everyone what the reality and the truth is in mm -hmm. Israel. We got there and we found it completely safe. Mm -hmm. a f after a few days of being there, we honestly kind of forgot that there was even a situation going on. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, the media has this gives us this perception that the entire country is in turmoil, that mm -hmm. there is bombs going off everywhere and people, it, it's just not true. Mm -hmm. There is an unfortunate area of the mm -hmm. country that is tragically under war. Mm -hmm. But we, the tour sites, we don't travel there. Brian was mentioning on yesterday's program while he was doing his uh, uh, interaction with us live on the air, there were tour buses going along behind him on a regular basis that was almost drowning out his audio. Yeah, we did see, while we were there, we saw um, individual travelers and we saw groups from all over the world. We saw Asia groups, Russian groups, some U.S. groups. We saw college kids, birthright groups. Mm -hmm. We saw people in the country. now. It's true, tourism is down, and the tourism industry in Israel is suffering, mm -hmm. um, which is sad mm -hmm. because it's not necessary mm -hmm. because it is safe. Yeah. So before we left, I was watching TV like crazy. You know, mm -hmm. Operation Protective Edge wasn't stopping, and it was mm -hmm. going, and I thought, oh, what am I doing? Or am I taking my family to someplace mm -hmm. that's not safe? <clears throat> my daughter-in-law is now pregnant. You know, I, I don't want to do this if mm -hmm. this is not safe. So... The media, as I was watching it, I was just becoming more and more concerned. So what I did was I turned off the TV, mm -hmm. and I decided mm -hmm. to gather the facts. Mm -hmm. And I contacted my friends, my coworkers in Israel, the, minister, the Israel Ministry of Tourism, and I said, what are the facts? The facts that they told me of people living life as normal, uh, that it is safe to travel there, the tourism sites are not affected. They told me, Kim, you will be safe. Mm -hmm. And I trust the people in Israel. My, of course, they wouldn't want me to come mm -hmm. if I wasn't if, I, if right. we were in danger. So, we turned the TV off. We had a family mm -hmm. meeting 
and said, look guys, here are the facts. You decide what to do. And the first question came up was, how many suitcases can we bring? <laughs> <laughs> there, everyone was on board. Uh, yeah. It was very mm -hmm. exciting. Now you guys drove yourself. We did. We rented a van. You rented a van and drove yourself yeah. around the country. I asked my daughter at the end of the trip, I said, what was the scariest part of your trip? And they said, you're driving? <laughs> not my driving. My <laughs> husband's driving. <laughs> driving in Israel is a challenge. It's, easy. it's not easy, but it, it is... It is an adventure for sure. Yeah. Well, you know, Kim, not only did your entire family go, but your, your daughter spent a summer there, yeah, correct? I mean, Studying there in did. Israel. And you were here in the States. I mean, were you apprehensive about letting that happen? No, no, because I know the truth. Because I've been there enough. Because I, I just know the truth about mm -hmm. Israel. And it's unfortunate that people make decisions uh, about going, about traveling there. Even though God places it on their heart to go, they make decisions based on what they, they hear about in the media. You know, long gone are the days that we watch Tom Brokaw at the 6 o'clock news right. where he gives us the facts mm -hmm. and informs us of the, of the situation of the world. Now we have a 24-hour news mm -hmm. that is giving us their opinions, and they are, are looking for ratings. That's right. And it's really sad. In, right. in every situation that they're... They're promoting. It's really has an agenda. And the same agenda. situation's happening right now, unfortunately, with Ferguson, Missouri, where people mm -hmm. would be making a decision, you know, is it safe to go to St. Louis? Yes, it's perfectly safe to go to St. Louis, mm -hmm. and, and it, that's not a problem. All right, uh, on to a more fun topic. What was the family's favorite thing, <laughs> favorite place? Wow. Well, um, you know, we had so many favorites, and at night, at, at dinner time, we would do high-low. Mm -hmm. Every, what's your high low? What's your high? What's your low for the day? Mm -hmm. Every night we do high low. Um, and then at the end of the trip, we did the high low. Mm -hmm. And I think that it was overwhelmingly the garden tomb. Mm -hmm. The garden tomb, I strategically planned to be the very last place mm -hmm. that we stopped um, on the very last day. And everyone was just in a place of admiration mm -hmm. for what Jesus has done for us. It was a great final final yeah. moment for the tour. That really is pretty cool. And, and on the tour, that is really one of the last places that we go on the tour mm -hmm. and take communion. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. Yeah. So Kim, someone is kind of still on the fence. Yeah. What would you say to that person? Well, I would say, first of all, pray about it. If God mm -hmm. has placed the desire to go to Israel in your heart, if he's calling you there, I believe there's a reason for it. I, I believe that you should really consider going. Le learn the facts. Find out the facts from people like us um, any other people that you know that have traveled to Israel recently or uh, who live there, learn the facts mm -hmm. and then follow your heart and make a decision. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no risk in signing up for, like we have a November tour right. coming up and a February tour. Mm -hmm. um, if it's on your heart to go, I encourage people to sign up and go. Mm -hmm. First of all, November's a long ways away. A, lot, mm -hmm. a lot's going to right. change. Mm -hmm. um, but if, if Israel be, ever becomes unsafe, we're not going to go there. Mm -hmm. You and I travel with the groups. I don't want to go if it's unsafe. So I would just encourage them to follow their heart and follow what God is leading them to do. You know, what's really cool is that in, in November in particular, we've got Dr. Mark Royer, mm -hmm. uh, who uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know is, has been in the area for a long time, pastor of a church, and now is somewhat taken a more of a pastor emeritus standpoint uh, with Crossroads and is traveling around. But he's going to be a great minister you know, on this trip. Yeah. He's really looking forward to it too. Yeah. I've spoken with him, mm -hmm. and and he's uh, standing firm and mm -hmm. and you know believing the facts yeah. and excited about going because each trip, whether it's your first, your second, right. or or your thirtieth, mm -hmm. you really <laughs> find really God's mm -hmm. blessing there. And then in uh, February, uh, you know, one of the highlights is uh, David Sumrall from uh, Manila, and he brings a large group of people from Manila with him, and. They're always fun. There's a lot of music involved, the guitar and singing yes. and praise and worship and they must uh, be daily Pentecostal, teaching. like me. <laughs> well, they're, they're Filipino <laughs> as much as Pentecostal. So uh, no, they just they're a fun group to be around. February is a beautiful it's time really, to go. Really with, a terrific yeah. time. But November is fantastic, also. Mm -hmm. So in closing, what what would you say to someone again? Like Valerie's just saying. Somebody's just thinking about it. Should they call right now and get information? Is that a good thing to do? Yeah, call us. Talk mm -hmm. to Lumi and I. Mm -hmm. uh, call me personally. I'd be happy to to discuss what I experienced in Israel recently during mm -hmm. during the situation. Um, go to my Facebook and look mm -hmm. at all my pictures. Um, those selfies were a blast. Uh -huh. 
Uh, were they staged? They were not staged. <laughs> at, at first, they were staged. At first, I was like, everybody, let's do a selfie. And then, and they were like, oh another selfie mm -hmm. so eventually they got onto mom's fun uh -huh. and I'd say selfie time and I didn't know what they were doing behind me mm -hmm. we just went bam bam that's selfie, hilarious. took the picture sometimes I didn't right. even look at it until <laughs> nighttime so um, well, one, one last thing I'd like to stress and we get a lot of phone calls mm -hmm. you know they come in on a regular basis on our toll-free number and, and uh, they, a lot of them sometimes are after hours so they get answered uh, you know by by a voicemail and uh, there's a question sometimes of people of why do we do a trip to Israel? And it really is a ministry. It it's is a ministry. It's all about a ministry. Holy cow, lives are changed. Right. You mm -hmm. go to Israel and you walk in the footsteps of Jesus and you are in the very place on earth that God chose for his home, mm -hmm. There, you are undoubtedly right. changed. Mm -hmm. Small way maybe, sometimes large ways. We've mm -hmm. had healings, we've had people mm -hmm. just hearing from God. You know, I believe that God speaks to us, you know, every day. We, he's, he's here with us. Mm -hmm. But when we take the time out of our life, our busy life, and we focus on a week mm -hmm. or a week and a half in Israel and focus on God and focus on the Holy Land, we seem to hear from Him yeah. a little bit louder mm -hmm. because our heart is in the right place and we, we push everything else away. Mm -hmm. So a trip to Israel, Right. brings you closer to Christ. Well, thank you, Kim, for allowing us to <laughs> thank share you for letting your trip. Me share. You know, it was and fun. see all the selfies and all that. It's been fun following the, the family, Susky family adventure in Israel. So to connect with Kim, go to LaCitours.com or call 1-800-685-3732 or Harvest right after this. <laughs>